Inside EPRI's Charlotte lab, Lily Haas is hard at work. Officially, she's an EPRI generation wind researcher, but safe to say this engineer by degree is also an investigator by default. Today, she's also dyed her hair green to show off how excited she is to do a daily deep dive into sustainability. Is it how they're being maintained? Is it their material? Um, is it the design? As more wind turbines come online and others age, new challenges arise, and that includes premature failures and parts like these heavy structural bolted joints, which impact safety and operations. There's hundreds, hundreds of bolts in just a single wind turbine. So the work that we're doing here is helping us really increase the reliability of the whole machine, not just the blades. EPRI continues to investigate the causes of so these types the of failures using high-tech equipment and some variations of things you may have seen before, like a power drill, but way bigger and heavier, or an ultrasound machine that looks deep inside the materials. So at here we have a materials lab, and so what they do is they clean up the surface, and then they can look and see um, the lines and, and patterns on the surface kind of helps you understand what type of failure it is. This one, you can barely see it, but it has some beach marks, which is an indication, a very typical indication of fatigue failure. It's crucial to find out why as soon as possible to prevent further damage, results that are incredibly important, not just for companies running the wind turbines, but also pretty much everyone, as the increased need for power can be met in part by not just a renewable, but also a reliable generation source. When you get to interact with operators who are experiencing these issues, on the daily and then you show them your cool results and they get really excited about it because they're also engineers who are dealing with these problems and, and doing experiments on their own. Um, it's really fun. Reporting in Charlotte, I'm Tim Trudell for EPRI.